The Dragon Ball story is one that many of us are aware of, and because of that, some of you will think that this video is a pointless one. And yeah, it's pretty redundant if you know all of this already. But this isn't for you, it's for the fans that can't seem to keep track of the story chronologically, be it for whatever reason, especially DBS. So in this video, I'll be going over the Dragon Ball story, listing every saga, the big villain from that saga, the goals of our heroes and the villain, as well as other key details that I believe should be stated, character deaths, births, transformations, etc. Now I must state that I'll only be going over every major saga, not including the smaller sagas within the larger sagas. But yeah, with that, let's jump straight into it. As of now, the Dragon Ball series consists of 20 canon arcs if we're counting the original three tournament sagas of Dragon Ball. If you want to know every saga that the original Dragon Ball had, I already made a video on that and you can find it in the card above. But with that, let's hop into Z. The seventh saga without a doubt is one of the biggest contributors as to why this series is the juggernaut it is today, the Saiyan Saga. With the introduction of Gohan, King Kai, King Yama, Raditz, Nappa, and Vegeta, this series begins to expand past what Earth currently has to offer. This saga shows us that there was more to the Dragon Ball universe than we had first thought, and in this saga, our hero's goal was to defend Earth from the upcoming Saiyan invasion by eliminating their foes. As for the main villain, Vegeta had primarily come to Earth for the Dragon Balls in order to wish for immortality, but later this goal changes when Piccolo dies. At this point, he just wants to defeat Goku and destroy the Earth. There are a bunch of key moments within this saga, from the introduction of the Saiyans, Goku being revealed as a Saiyan, Piccolo's brand new attack the Special Beam Cannon, the death of the main character for the first time in the series, the afterlife being shown for the first time, Goku's training with King Kai, Gohan's transformation into a great ape for the first time, the first deaths of Tien, Piccolo, and Yamcha, as well as the second death of Chaozu, Goku vs Vegeta, and within that fight, the Kaioken, Vegeta's great ape transformation, Yajirobe cutting off Vegeta's tail, the spirit bomb, great ape Gohan crushing Vegeta, and the escape of the Saiyan Prince. This saga took the foundations provided by the original series and catapulted it into new heights. Moving along, the 8th saga and my favorite, the Frieza saga. If the last saga catapulted this series into new heights with how good it was, then this saga took it from there and skyrocketed to even higher heights. Here we are introduced to characters such as Zarbon, Dodoria, Frieza, Mori, Dende, the Grand Elder Guru, Nail, the entire Ginyu Forest, and King Cold. And the goal of our heroes was to revive their fallen friends and to some extent defeat the tyrant of the universe. Frieza. As for our big bad, Frieza wanted eternal life similar to Vegeta in the previous saga. Moving on to the key moments this saga had, well there was anti-hero Vegeta, Zarbon and Dodoria vs Vegeta, the revelation that the Saiyans get stronger after a near death experience, otherwise known as a Zenkai, Gohan and Krillin getting their potential unlocked, the Z Fighters vs the Ginyu Force, Ginyu Goku, the reveal of the Namekians West Dragon Purunga, the Z Fighters vs Frieza, Piccolo's revival and merging with Nail, all of Frieza's transformations, Vegeta's first death, Goku vs Frieza and everything that that fight brought, from the second death of Krellin, the introduction of the Super Saiyan, the destruction of Planet Namek, and eventually the revival of the Z Fighters. Besides these big key moments, the entire saga is a blast from start to finish and this was peak DBZ in my opinion. Now the ninth saga and arguably the best saga in DBZ according to a number of people is none other than the Cell Saga. With the introduction of Future Trunks, Present Trunks, Android 16 through 20, the Bio Android Cell, and none other than the best character in the entire series, Jimmy Firecracker. Nah I'm just kidding, it's, it's Hercule. Our hero's primary goal was to put a stop to Dr. Jero's inventions from causing any havoc on the world. As for the big bad, that title jumped around from villain to villain, but it eventually landed on Cell. And interesting enough, Cell just wanted to achieve his perfect form and test it out, which he does achieve. Afterwards, it was just to show how perfect he was by fighting the strongest fighters and eventually destroying the earth to show how powerful he is. I don't know, Cell is a strange one. As for the saga's key moments, well this one had a lot. Frieza and King Cole's invasion on Earth, the introduction of the mysterious youth, Trunks, Super Saiyan Trunks vs King Cold and Frieza, the death of Frieza and King Cold, Trunks revealing that he's Vegeta and Bulma's child, the introduction of the instant transmission technique, Goku's heart virus, Super Saiyan Vegeta, the Z Fighters vs Android 17 and 18, Piccolo merging with Kami, Piccolo vs Cell and his rematch with 17, the Room of Spirit and Time, all of the Super Saiyan grade forms, all of Cell's forms, 
Champions, Kiko Ho vs. Second Form Cell, Vegeta and Trunks vs. Cell, Vegeta's Final Flash, Goku and Gohan vs. Cell, the introduction of the Super Saiyan 2 transformation, the second death of Goku, Gohan's one-handed Kamehameha vs. Cell, and Goku's decision to remain dead. Now the reason this saga in my opinion is so good is due to the great amount of fights it had in it. That in this saga also felt like something interesting was always happening, even during its downtimes. From the mysterious disappearance of the people in Ginger Town, to the fear that the androids could pop up at Goku's house at any moment, to everything with Cell trying to achieve his perfect form. The 10th saga and the climactic finale of DBZ was the Boo Saga, and although it had the best character in the spotlight a lot more than in the last saga, even he couldn't stop this saga from falling behind the previous two in terms of popularity, and it just shows how good the other ones were. In this saga, we meet Videl, Goten, Marin, Shin, Kabito, Gotenks, the Elder Kai, Vegito, Deborah, every version of Boo, and Bobbity, with Boo being the big bad in the end. His goal was simple, and that was to cause destruction and chaos everywhere he went, and the goal of our heroes was to stop him. In terms of key moments, this saga gave us the great Saiyan Man and all the shenanigans that that brought us. The two youngest Super Saiyans in Dragon Ball history, Goten and Trunks. The return of Son Goku, Goten vs Trunks, Majin Vegeta, Goku and Vegeta's rematch. The revival of Majin Buu, the death of Deborah, Vegeta's final atonement, Goku Super Saiyan 3, Fat Buu vs Goku. Gohan's training in Underworld, and eventually the Elder Kai Ritual, the introduction of the Fusion Dance, the birth of Super Buu, the birth of Gotenks, Gotenks vs Super Buu, Ultimate Gohan, Super Buu vs Gohan, Goku's Revival, the absorption of Piccolo, Gotenks, and Gohan, the birth of the strongest Buu, Buuhan, the introduction of Tara Fusion, and the birth of Vegito, Buhan vs Vegito, the introduction of Kid Buu, the destruction of planet Earth, and the death of the entire DBZ cast except for Goku, Vegeta, and Hercule, Goku's spirit bomb that finished off Kid Buu, and the resurrection of everyone killed by Buu as well as the wish to make everyone forget what Buu did. In my opinion this saga is a pretty good one, but the only problem with it is, is simply that it's all over the place and had trouble focusing on certain details in the story. I don't think it's bad, I just don't think it was as good as the other ones. And with that, this puts an end to DBZ and an end to this video. Tell me what your thoughts are on every saga, which one is your favorite, but yeah, thank you to everyone that watched this video, I hope you have a good day, peace peace, deuce deuce.